Hey you, welcome to Good News with the Christ Bearer. I'm glad to let you know that no matter what else happens in your life today, God's got good news for you. The days are getting darker, aren't they? Where I live here in Anchorage, Alaska, we're going to lose three minutes and 49 seconds of daylight today. But it doesn't just seem dark when I look outside in the winter, but the world that I live in seems like it's constantly getting darker. Do you know that feeling? If you've ever felt that way or you feel that way right now, God's got good news for you. Today we want to hear a gospel message from Mark chapter 1 verses 23 to 27 to pierce the darkness in our lives. A man in the synagogue who was possessed by an impure spirit cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Be quiet, Jesus said sternly. Come out of him. The impure spirit shook the man violently and came out of him with a shriek. The people were all so amazed that they asked each other, What is this? A new teaching? And with authority. He even gives orders to impure spirits. And they obey him. If you want to talk about dark times, how about stroll into that synagogue on a Saturday? There Jesus was together with God's people hearing the word when no one else other than a demon shows up. Can you imagine if something like that would happen at your church on Sunday? But the most astounding thing of all is what the demon acknowledged, that Jesus truly is the Holy One of God. Jesus showed his authority over darkness and even devils when he cast that demon out of that man. Has there ever been a time in your life when you felt like you were enveloped in spiritual darkness? Like you were lost beyond what God could save? See Jesus' actions in this gospel text today. He's come to break through the darkness of our hearts. He's come to tell the devil he can't claim our souls. He's come to let you know without a doubt, you belong to him. And if you ask me, now that sounds like good news. Thanks so much for joining me today for Good News with the Christ Bearer. We'll see you next week because God's got even more good news for you.